So here I have the uh, final chromate mixture. Um, it's got a small bug in it. But yes, so there's quite a few litres, so I'm going to have to boil it down. It's going to take quite a while as well. Use up quite a bit of my gas. But that's okay, gas is cheap. You can see here it's nearly boiled down to form crystals. So I'm going to stop it and see how crystallize a lot of this out. So this has been cooled down in the fridge, and we can see that we can see that there's quite a lot of chromate crystals in the bottom, which I am very chuffed about. Oh yeah! So I may have to boil down the uh, solution again, but I'm getting quite a lot of these orange chromate crystals. So I am very happy with this at the moment. So this is all the chromate here. There's two different sort of levels of purity. This one is where I left left the uh, solution to crystallize out. And I've got all the uh, chromate crystals that formed. And here I boiled the rest of the solution dry. So I got this. Um, obviously this one's, you can see it's a nice sort of crystalline powder. This one's a horrible sort of uh, flaky mass. And you can see it's a bit lot lighter in color. Um, it also absorbs water from the atmosphere where this one um, is perfectly dry. So it suggests a lot of uh, calcium chloride and calcium chlorate impurities in this one. But that does not matter because they're going to be purified in the next step anyway. So here we are. We are over a year later actually than that last little bit was filmed. Um, it ends with, and we're going to purify it in the next step. And honestly I have no idea what the next step was planning to be. Because I never used to write anything down. Um, always write things down, kids. Um, so, where are we at now? This is what I have in my cupboard, which I believe are, looking back at the footage, are the, the purified crystals. I don't know what happened to the... Oh, I think what happened to the, the lower grade is that I put them into a solution and I use this for um, trying to make uh, settle out a hide and a few other things. Um, it gets a bit annoying because when you acidify with sulfuric acid, um, you precipitate out calcium sulfate. Um, which in some applications is totally fine, in some it's not. Um, what else did I do? Um, oh, now I actually own this dichromates. Um, so I don't really need the calcium salt anymore. Well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into ammonium dichromate um, for use in my Christmas episode, which I think will already be up there by the time this is edited and everything. Now, given that we're a year on, a good question to ask is, what happened to all the waste products from all the chromium chemistry I've done over the year? All the initial chromium chemistry from extraction. And, well, it's still sort of temporary storage. Well, no, I guess it's sort of permanent storage in a way. Um, because at some point I'll have so much of this chromium-3 solution that it'll be viable to turn it back into dichromates. I guess. Um, so, or maybe one day I'll, I'll take this to a disposal facility. Because um, it's not very good for the environment at all to put it into, you know, so I can't put it down the septic or um, into the garden or anything like that. So, it's good to just do, um, reduce it back to chromium-3 and then store them in these bottles. I mean, I've got a few other waste things. I've got nickel, cobalt, copper. That is uh, stuff containing isopropanol. Um, so, you know, I just have them hanging around. So the dichromate to chromate sort of equilibrium is just a function of pH. So if we get some hydrochloric acid here and add it to our chromate sort of suspension slash solution, see that it goes in orange. So it forms instead the calcium dichromate. And dichromate is more soluble, so you can see uh, the cloudy, well, the turbidity of it goes away quite significantly. And it's uh, quite a lovely color change, as per uh, most chromium chemistry. Uh, very nice yellow, reds, greens, um, sometimes blues. Very good. Love transition metal chemistry. Still can't decide if I like that extra light in there or not. But uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some ammonium sulfate um, and that'll precipitate out calcium sulfate and leave us behind ammonium dichromate which is exactly what we want. 
So we're going to filter this now, um, but one thing that needs to happen is this thing you're filtering into needs to be very clean because if it's got any organic contaminants in it um, or anything that will, um, you know, any reducing agents, then um, your ammonium dichromate is going to be oxidized, um, going to oxidize it, so it's going to be reduced. So, um, and you'll see that with the, the, the very noticeable um, orange to green color change. Um, so you can't have any, you know, like I use a lot of ethanol to wash my glassware, um, mainly because it's like a few dollars cheaper than acetone here, which is a bit stupid. But um, yeah, you can't have any ethanol in like even just a little bit in the center um, because that'll that'll turn your dichromate green in a hurry. Um, so um, these stains here on that you might be able to see, there's a bit of a few stains, but that's actually from chromium trioxide about an hour ago. So. Um, I think this center is about as clean as it's ever been after it's just had some uh, chromium trioxide all over it. So, yeah, um, what I'll, go, I'll go and pour a little bit through, and if it comes through all orange and stays orange, then um, I'll pour the rest through. If not, I'll, I'll have to clean it a bit better. Solution has filtered through. Uh, we've got the calcium sulfate at the top there. Took a bit of washing to get all the yellow out of it. I got most of it out. Um, I was worried it was actually chromate precipitated out for some reason when I first put it in because it was so yellow, but that's just the staining from the um, chromium. With very um, vivid colours to it, and even in low concentrations. So, uh, so we've boiled it down a lot, and we're crushing out some crystals. Um, pretty quickly um, because I want a really fine grade. I don't want big crystals because what we're going to do is set them on fire and it looks like we have quite a bit there so I always think I have more than I actually do but it's always a bit deceptive when it's in suspension but um yeah we'll be able to um, filter that. Uh, we won't wash with a little ice cold water but we will uh, dry on the pump. And here we have our ammonium dichromate crystals they're quite lovely actually. Um, so we'll put this outside to dry, which given the fact it's about 45 degrees today, shouldn't be that uh, long. I've also made a little bit more over here um, from chromium trioxide and ammonia. Um, that was quite fun actually. Um, I'll, I will, yeah, I, I made more just because I want more for the, the demo that we're going to do on the other channel, hopefully. Um, so I'll combine these two together, I mean they're a bit different sort of crystalline grade, but um, that explains a little bit of different colour. Um, it's just the crystal sort of structure. Um, but I'll combine them together and let them dry. Yeah, and put all this chromium waste in our temporary storage as for all the rest of the chromium waste. So I had to do a recrystallization. I thought I wasn't going to have to um, because, you know, I'm just setting this on fire. But it didn't do the, um, the demonstration very well in small amounts. It sort of just got some here, yeah, it just sort of charred and didn't do the thing I wanted. Um, and I, I put that down to just just like ammonium sulfate impurities, and there was a bit of green chromium three in there somehow. So yeah, I've just done recrystallization, and it actually did wash with a little ice cold water, um, which you know I've, I've lost like a lot of product here um, yeah but um, it's looking like very good purity so and that's that's what I want I want you know small amounts of high purity as opposed to um, lots of a lower purity so we've reached the end of the series uh, after two videos I hope you enjoyed the conversion of this eating utensil to this carcinogenic salt um, now, obviously, it's not very efficient, this press. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not very cost effective. Um, you know, for the price of the reagents, I could have bought dichromase online. But a lot of, a lot of places in the world, um, buying online isn't really a great option. Um, and, you know, things like dichromates might get harder to find online um, in later years. 
But really, uh, I had great fun doing this. You know, real big bucket chemistry and quite a large scale. Um, and it's quite beautiful chemistry, a lot of it. Um, this salt here is a lovely yellow. Um, it was a lovely green at stages. And so I've enjoyed it all. Um, yeah, I hope you did too. I'll see you in the next series or whatever happens next.